Genetic material from single-celled organisms has to be stored at minus 86 degrees Celsius. This is our treasure chamber. It looks a bit humdrum like a refrigerator. And it is a refrigerator, but with somewhat lower temperatures. We have 50 refrigerators like this around the building. And what's in them is valuable indeed. A mirror of billions of years of evolution. Zinker does big business with these microorganisms. They are extracted from nature and then altered in the laboratory for various purposes. For example, to make detergents more effective, so that they can wash clean at 30 degrees Celsius. Biocatalysts and enzymes are Zinker's big sellers. The customers are large chemical corporations. Would you sometimes like to be back in the lab? Yes, but I don't want to impose on the staff, see how they huddle protectively over their experiments to prevent anyone from intervening. Sinker's company is expanding at a rate of 30% per year. It attracts new customers because the chemical industry has to cut spending, and the microorganisms are especially welcomed by production companies who have to use expensive petroleum. Sinker received the German Environmental Award for his innovations. He considers the prize a sign of recognition for the biotechnology industry. It's not just a niche where a doctoral candidate with a patent can become self-employed. It has importance for industry and thus for the national economy. But it's hard for a small company to convey that because it has a limited radius of action. But when recognition comes from an environmental foundation, Europe's largest environmental foundation, then many people who haven't been interested in biotechnology take note. Sinker's company moved into an old, dilapidated industrial building in the early 1990s. He has a good relationship with the mayor, who regularly drops by to see the construction site. Sinker is expanding the premises in order to increase production. He doesn't want to be limited to prototypes and product ideas. His aim is to produce biological agents in large quantities. Mayor Holger Habich says investment in the midst of the crisis is typical of Zinker. His decision to take on a rundown building was a courageous one. I have to admit, at the time I thought, how can anyone be so crazy as to buy this ruin, tear it down? But the building was under protection order, and it turned out to be a very good decision. Im Nachhinein muss ich sagen, war das eine sehr, sehr gute und ästhetische Entscheidung. <laughs> the owner takes his younger employees seriously. He invites them into his office for regular informal meetings. And it's important to him to be on an easy footing with them from the start. I remember standing in the coffee kitchen and pouring myself some coffee. Someone came rushing in. Oh, yes, a new face. I'm Holger. Bye. And I thought, Holger? Holger Zinke? That was the boss. Zinke has his own private library on company grounds. And he lives right next door. He hired young graphic artists and photographers to design a picture book on his company. He wants to raise public awareness about biotechnology. We hope that soon not only specialists will be interested in this area. All the communication about biotechnology has really been a disaster. We haven't really moved a single step forward. The 1,000 copies of the book's first edition will be only the start. Holger Zinker knows small things can sometimes make a big difference.